Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news of Ashuruk TV. Today's stories include Sudan air flight carrying first group of Sudanese stranded in Egypt arrives. Foreign Ministry negotiations on Renaissance Dam achieve tangible progress. Darfur group set several sticking points besides the security arrangements. The Sudan air flight carrying the first group of the Sudanese stranded in Egypt landed in Khartoum airport Sunday morning. The stranded were received at the airport by the representatives of the Higher Committee for Health Emergencies, the Businessmen Club, which organized the return trips, the Sudanese Armed Forces, the Interior Ministry, the Health Ministry, doctors and the Civil Aviation Authority. The member of the Higher Committee, Dr. Hiba Muhammad Ali, said that the return flights started by evacuation of 1,500 of the Sudanese stranded in Egypt through the Sudan Air, adding that the flights will continue throughout the day. The member of the Sovereign Council, the Deputy Chairman of the Higher Committee for Health Emergencies, Professor Sadiq Taur, on Sunday commended the support extended by the International Organization for Migration to return home the Sudanese nationals stranded in Egypt due to COVID-19. Taur, who met Sunday at the Friendship Hall, the head of the IOM mission in Sudan, affirmed the state's concern over the Sudanese stranded abroad, adding that it exerts great efforts to bring the stranded home. The IOM official referred to the organization's consultations with the Ministry of Health and other related circles to support the government efforts to bring back the Sudanese stranded abroad due to the pandemic. The Foreign Minister Asma Muhammad Abdullah said that the recent rounds of negotiations on the Renaissance Dam have achieved a tangible progress in technical issues, a matter which is strengthening conviction on the importance that the three countries shall adhere to the negotiation option as the best way to reach a comprehensive and satisfactory agreement. In a press statement, the minister indicated that the difference is existing on some fundamental legal issues which necessitated referring the file to the prime ministers of the three countries with the aim to reaching a political consensus that would lead to the resumption and completion of negotiations as soon as possible. The foreign minister has reaffirmed Sudan's categorical rejection of any unilateral move that would harm Sudan by starting the process of filling the dam without reaching an agreement. Therefore, armed groups said that there are several sticking points in the peace talks beside the security arrangements before reaching a comprehensive deal. The head of the Revolutionary Front, Al-Hadi Idris, and the Sudan Liberation Movement, Minni Minnawi, Presidential Assistant for Media and Public Relations, confirmed to Sudan Tribune the readiness of the armed groups to reach a peace agreement and stressed that the postponement of the signing of the peace deal was due to the delayed arrival of the government delegation to Juba for the resumption of the direct talks. The two officials revealed that there are many outstanding issues, including the wealth sharing and the amount of money that the government should disburse annually to funds related to the compensation of the war-affected civilians, recovery programs and development. The Qatari Charged Affairs, Dilal Al-Anzi, said that the medical assistance that arrived at Khartoum Airport on Saturday came within the framework of the distinguished and fraternal relations between the state of Qatar and Sudan. He affirmed in a statement the keenness of the state of Qatar and its leadership to consolidate its relations with Sudan for the interest of the two peoples. He expressed hope that this assistance will contribute to boosting the outstanding efforts of Sudan government in combating coronavirus. The Sudan Federal Ministry of Health has announced 164 new confirmed cases of COVID-19, raising general toll to 8,580 deaths, 8 and 121 recoveries. Khartoum state only has registered 107 and 7 states reported zero cases of COVID-19. The ministry urged all patriots to follow procedures of health safety for eradicating coronavirus pandemic in Sudan. The Central Bank of Sudan has denied news reports carried out by some social media that it directed the financial banking services to suspend mobile banking services program in all the banks operating in Sudan. The bank affirmed in a press statement it should deny the issuance of any decision or directive in this concern. The statement further denied presence of any defect or insurance problems in the programs and applications of the banking cell phone. 
A ship loaded with 20,000 heads of sheep through Wadina Pastures and Livestock Company left for the Sultanate of Oman on Thursday. Minister of Animal Resources, Fisheries and Pastures, Dr. Alam al Bashir, said that 30,000 sheep were exported to the Sultanate of Oman during the past three months. Reminding headlines. Sudan air flight carrying first group of Sudanese stranded in Egypt arrives. Foreign Ministry negotiations on Renaissance Dam achieve tangible progress. Therefore, groups set several sticking points beside the security arrangements. That was everything from Shuruk TV. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.